Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek coming at you from Waco, Texas. Today we're going to learn how to play a wider shade of pale. Let's take a listen. I have the or, uh, kind of a tine sound here on my uh, keyboard in the studio. guys nice and kind of put you to sleep huh <laughs> welcome to webpianoteacher.com our online community where we gather together to learn play and share the music that we love creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play piano online you can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice i'm going to help you to do both of those things let's get to it all right this is a song by a band called i got to look i can't remember uh, Procol Harum, Procol Harum, and uh, I don't recognize the band, I have to be honest there. I do recognize the song, and I uh, have a nice little uh, tine sound. Uh, it's kind of tines drive, and we'll look at that a little bit when we get into the lesson. But uh, it just kind of has a nice, uh, you know, organ kind of sound to it if you play it softer. So that's what I like to use. But we're going to uh, concentrate on the organ part in the song as we do it. And if you're a member, you can download the sheets for this. Very helpful when you're practicing. Let's get to it. So um, I have the, uh, the bank on here on my Quai MP11SE. And I'm using the selection number two, which is the Tines Drive. I like it because I can play softer and have kind of an organ sound. But then I can also get... You know, I can have that, you know, uh, kind of bite to it that uh, you get with some of those older keyboards. Really one of my favorite sounds to mess around with. So um, that's what I'm using. You can mess around and see what you want to use, just as long as it's an organ sound, a subdued tone. And, you know, little advice, don't spend too much time trying to exactly match, you know, what's in the recording, because you never do. Just get close and have fun. So uh, a lot of held notes in, in uh, organ playing. Okay, uh, this will work on piano if you're worried. Oh, can I play the piano on this? Certainly you can. Um, it'll work. But I'm just using the, the organ sound here for fun for me. G, C, E, left hand on a C. One, two. We'll do two counts on that C chord. Have a little bit of a little hook there later on when we do a repeat because you can kind of flix that a little bit from a D to an E. But uh, maybe not the first time, so we'll just play that straight. One, two, three. So counts 3, 4, we're going to change to an E minor chord. And you may go, well, there's not an E on the bass. Well, that's just because it's an inversion of an E minor chord. The bass goes um, by, down by step to a B. And then look, the G stays the same. You change the C to a B, and the E stays the same. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Make it as smooth as you can with your fingers. 3, 4. Don't have a gap in there. Don't sound like this gap, don't have any sunlight, just three, four, one, then we go to A minor, A, C, E on the right, left hand on an A, I'll play one, three, five, so that I can go D, C, B, and then G, C with one and three, D, E, C, and my wife Shauna reminded me that this is the Baroque pop style, and uh, that was kind of prevalent, and you have a lot of this, you know, the different voices, Kind of sounds like Bach, you know, the, the contrapuntal styles and everything. So that's definitely in this song, Baroque Pop. So on count three, we go to G, C, left hand on a G, and a D on the right hand. Now as you go to E, C, I hear the bass guitar do an F sharp. I don't know if the organ part does that or not. They may not, but the bass guitar does it. So it's your decision where you want to play that F sharp or not. F chord. So C, F, A, there's a little hook on the F so the, the player does that little bit, little flip off of the G sharp. Left hand has an F. One, two, three. Now right here, you want to play your A with the fifth finger so that you can keep holding it as you go to C, E here. Two. Okay, and actually you can keep holding the C as well. One, two, three, as you change the F to an E. 
So B, C is that four in with four, five. Fingers four, five. One, two, three, four, and now we do this. So it's A, D, F, but you can put a little flick on that F if you want. It's kind of hard to do that, but all right, he does that once and once and again. So A, D, F, and then to the E, F. That's fast. Da, 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 two, three. Now here, as we keep holding that F, it sounds like a church organ, doesn't it? It's because of the change. And it makes it sound like that if you keep those notes held. Okay? Two. I keep holding some of those notes, and it really makes it a smooth change. One, two, three, four. Count four is the D. Then I go to D, G, B on the right, and I'll just flip that B. One, two, three. The left hand goes G to F. Two, three. Bum, then I can't see the rest. But da da da. And you have this little section here. All right, let's try from the beginning. You ready? And go. That's a nice little uh, organ part there, isn't it? Really kind of sounds uh, Baroque, you know, uh, the music they wrote in the 16 and 1700s. And, uh, you know, it sounds like kind of church music, too, because you have the organ sound. And then you have the, you know, the, the pop 60s uh, vocal sound uh, when, when the singer comes in. So it's a really fun song that has a lot of different um, uh, places of inspiration, I think. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this one on the website. Have a good day. Talk to you later.